You just tuned in to the greatest podcast in the world right now, today, this second. It's And the Wife with Anastasia. Yeah, you watch some special for him? Yes, he does. I guess he does. <laughs> Are there female Transformers? Yeah. Like one. Which one? I never heard of a female Transformer. It was in the She's more than Mr. I. They had they had her in the second movie. She was a motorcycle. RC. Oh, in the in the the live action version? Yeah. But she was in a cartoon too, right? Yeah. But I'm saying in the Michael Bay movies, this yeah. two she was a motorcycle. Her name's RC. Yeah. Who is Optimus Prime's girlfriend? Uh, Optimus Prime has a girlfriend. Before yeah. he be- before he w- became Optimus Prime. Really? Uh, was yeah. what? 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 Kind of weird. Do you know Optimus Prime's? <laughs> do you know Optimus Prime's girlfriend's name? I don't know her name. I know what she looks like. Alita One. Oh, what was she? Oh, Alita. One. Yeah. Ooh, la, la. When they were on Cybertron, they weren't anything but robots. Do you know Why the do whole you know this? <laughs> the whole Transformers because backstory. Because I used to watch Transformers a lot. I they used to talk about that. Well, it showed Optimus Prime's like origin before he became oh. Optimus Prime. So, what was his name before Optimus Prime? Optimus Billy No the, Guy, the, the, nerd, nerd truck. <laughs> the jump truck, the jump truck. Billy Prime. Yeah, I didn't know he had an origin story. Yeah, he used to be a smaller, like geekier robot. A smaller yeah. geekier robot. Nice. Oh, look at this shit she. right here. What's this shit? <laughs> oh wow! But she what has is to she... pose like that? Because she's a girl, she has to be sexy. Pose all robot. sexy. A Cree, the most famous female transformer. Oh, RC. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> I was yeah. Say, oh, a Cree. <laughs> right. It does look like it says our our Cree poses for the boys. Okay. She says. says that in the caption. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are there boys that are just like, ooh, look at her cylinders and. Her metal pieces. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I like how she's put together. Uh-huh. Lance is probably like that. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Lance? <laughs> you, you love Transformers. So <laughs> His face. Poor Lance. <laughs> He's so, like, I don't love it like that. Some hot lady Transformers. I'm not I'm trying not, to sit and put my stuff in the exhaust pipes. I'm not into uh, robots or transhumanism. Oh, that's right. Oh, he. Oh, you already knew this? Yeah. He told you you had a conversation about yes. this? Yes. Several I'm, times. Several he, he times. He doesn't like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, the Terminator movie? Yeah. You don't like Terminators or any kind of human-sized robot. They yeah, can be I small. Yeah, like human-sized robot. But not They can be small size. or giant, but yeah, not human-sized. If they're human-sized, so you, you're you just saying you don't want to get with any robots? No, they're fundamentally untrustable. They're trying to replace you at that point. Whoa. Have you seen uh, Ex Machina? Yeah. And case in point, it's true. She was her whole plan. She talked about somebody manipulative. She was manipulating this fool the entire time. He was falling for it the entire time. I was like, you dummy. She's messing with you. She's messing with your dumb little mind so she can get away. And you let her. Yep. Did, human uh, human when, size. When you were watching that movie, do you think he did you think at some point that he was a robot too? He thought he was. Yeah. <laughs> What? He, he did remember he he tried to his, he tried to cut himself to see whether he was robot or not. He was so confused to even know it, who he was. I mean, there was he, a point where I thought I was thinking the same thing. He, he was crossed up in the game. He was a robot. So all I hear is like ocean starfish music and stuff. What do you? What movie are you guys talking about? Ex what? <laughs> <laughs> I like you, apparently. Ex, ex yeah, Machina, we saw it. the uh, one where the guy who goes out. To the dude's house, and he has the 
in the middle of robot nowhere. Robot in the basement. It's a female robot. It was a bunch of robots in a room. He found them. But she doesn't. She doesn't have like the skin on and stuff. And there's a couple other. It looks like there's other women who were in the house. Like his you bedroom find out later, is like the, oh, in the, like the robots a too. Full okay. of uh, it's robot back. And in the end, the guy helps her escape. But then right. she locks right. okay. him in the house when she leaves. Because I was like, is this another movie I just haven't seen? I remember it now. I thought it was going to end it with her killing everybody. That's what I thought. Yeah. And she so I was surprised she didn't kill him. But she essentially did. She just didn't. She didn't put him out on her own. But leaving him there locked in the house, it's, it's a death warrant for him. And then she goes into regular society like, ha, 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 you dummies. Yeah. You don't know. These hoes ain't loyal. She, <laughs> she's a robot, so she really yeah. really has no gender. She's just a bunch of O's and ones. She's based off these hoes. She oh, okay. she's based whatever. Based off these hoes. Well, if, if she's based off these hoes, she's based off of what a man decided these hoes are. So nope. there's that. He used he he said he ba- he made their brain based off of search engine. He based it off what these hoes was looking up. <laughs> they weren't they weren't looking up anything that had to do with loyalty. Like men are super loyal. So, anyways, we we're talking about going to the Migos concert. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you guys have a story to tell. That's right. Uh-huh. So uh, every every. I hope summer, our kids never hear this. <laughs> yeah. Every every summer when uh, the kids go to L. A. for like a month or a with few weeks, grandma, yeah. Yeah, we we do this thing called Rum Springa. <laughs> Call it you guys know what Rumspringer is? Yes. Isn't that is that the Amish? Yeah. Yes, yeah. the Amish. When they, they go away, go or, off yeah. away from their their to see if they want to come place back. to see. Yeah, yeah. to yeah. like experience the world outside. Right. And so we experience the world while the see, kids are away. Yeah. And we call it Rumspringa all summer while the kids are away, and we experience the world. Look how fun they are. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks, Courtney. Thanks. I didn't think you were that fun, but okay. So Tabby was uh, Tabby was still working at Dre's. <laughs> and uh, Migos was coming around. And Frank uh, they, really they wants a, to see the they Migos. Have a, a residency, right? Yeah. So I was like, I was telling Anna, I was like, you know, Migos is like one of those groups that has made a difference. You know, um, like they've established, you know, the, the the type of music, the genre, and they're like they're big in that category. Just like, you know, the Beatles were, or like. You know, certain groups were the group who was right. who was the one in that genre, and I was like, you know what, we should really just go see him. And you sound like you're trying to assign him to your label. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys are really Real important to the, important. Whole to the culture. Col- yeah, yeah, the culture. Yeah, exactly. To the yeah. <laughs> to, our, to our current culture at the right. time. You know, Migos was, was yeah the thing. Or he just like, really likes their music, and he really wants. I was gonna to say their I music really is really... is okay. Okay. But you know, it's it's good. It's fun. Dance with my dogs in the night. Is that their <laughs> song? Oh. No, they do the bad and bougie. Bad and bougie. Oh, yeah. And yeah. something and about chicken and stir chicken fry. Chicken and stir fry. Uh, Sitting in the kitchen in the stir fry. That's what the they're telling us. Stir fry. Or to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the Migos. So I was music. telling Anna. I don't know. really know the Migos that well. <laughs> I was telling Anna, you know, we should go see him one night. And so, um, yeah. That so, was a mistake. <laughs> so I was like, we, uh, we'll get a, a lift ride. So we got a lift ride. So we did some pregame in, and then, and then we went to. I think uh, no, we had some edible. Yeah. We had some edibles. But then kick it until and we then got there. we yeah. went to the yard house and had dinner and started drinking a lot. And after but, that, like when we hit the club, everything yeah. hit. Yeah, no, no, no. But, everything hit. No, but we we sat at the bar. We sat at the bar for a the, while and had a couple more drinks club. before we went inside. A couple more drinks before we went inside, and it was like oh, it was about mistake. it was like ten thirty. And these <laughs> fools, these don't fools, come until like two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, right? these fools don't go yeah, on until like right. three or three thirty. That's yeah. typical. Oh, so we, we did went, not make it. Yeah, we <laughs> got into the club. It. There was really <laughs> like nobody else it, there. No. Uh, it was still early, but Tabby was like, "You guys need to come in right now, otherwise you're not getting right. in." Right. And so we didn't we didn't stand in line. We got comped, and so we we went in right away, and there was nobody else there, and we started partying and having fun and you know dancing or whatever, <sighs> and it was like eleven thirty. <laughs> So fucked up, we had to leave. Anna, no, no, yeah. I was so fucked up. Anna started giggling at like ten thirty. That's my first symptom too. Yeah. yeah, she did not stop. I don't know what happened that night. For like all an I know hour is that I was like 
like glued to him and I couldn't move. Like I physically <laughs> felt like I couldn't detach from his body and I couldn't yeah. get away. Giggling. <laughs> I could just stand there. Giggling nonstop. She, she merged then. She merged. <laughs> nonstop. Giggling the whole time. And so uh, it was it was like eleven thirty and I was at a point I was like, we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so that's good, at least. We are yeah. not gonna make it home. Not we're gonna pass the fuck out right here. <laughs> And we're not going to make it home. And I saw this, like, what was funny to me that night, I don't know if you know, I don't know if I could tell you, it was there was, like, people across from us sitting down on, like, a planter, and they all had, like, their um, overcoats on, and they looked like they were dressed for church and not a club, and they were just, like, sitting there bundled up like they didn't belong in the club at all. I was like, why the fuck are you people here? <laughs> and then, fashion faux pas. Yeah. Me, <laughs> a fashion faux pas. It was just like so ridiculous to me i was like you you whole group it was like a whole group of people like like looking around like what's happening in here we don't belong here this is uncomfortable i'm like what the fuck are you doing here get out you're not safe you're, you're not safe <laughs> I, I i i get the whole giggles thing because it was like the first time i smoked weed was like in my mid-20s mm-hmm. and it was like I went for a long time after that. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't like it because it was yeah. just like. Same here. Me and my friend, they, my, a lot of my friends smoke weed and I was just, you know, just being me, being super square. And, I, <laughs> and so I they think finally. That's part of our family. Convinced me to do it. And we literally sat there laughing for like yeah. mm-hmm. four hours. <laughs> Just laughing at everything, like <laughs> you're getting phone calls. The radio said they're gonna be right back. <laughs> I know we watched uh, Magic Mike two, and it was the funniest fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. We were laughing like idiots the entire time because we were so high, and we were just down here watching oh, it dude. and just laughing and laughing and laughing. And Have like, you guys seen that movie? No. no. Watch it. High. I actually oh, haven't even I seen it. Reckon- I never oh, wanted dude. to see it. It is. It's hilarious. Really? If you're, if I don't know what it's like if you're not. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, because we watched no. it, we were super. And after super after the next day, I was like, I don't know if I can watch that movie in like the regular mind but, state. Because it would ruin. It What's would the ruin the experience. What's the guy? The Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan has a whole strip tease in the middle. Oh yeah, Michael. St- Exactly. The, the face you're making, the ideas, it was like, what's happening? Why is this happening? And we don't like a super long time, I guess. Because, you know, like when you're high, time doesn't matter. Right. Like sometimes right. things take longer than other times. Yeah. Um, and it seemed like it went on for like an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. An hour. It was super long. And we were just like, what? what's happening? Why is this yeah. happening? And Please Donald make it Glover. stop. Donald Glover's in the movie. Oh, doing the God. Piece too. Oh. Yeah, because what okay. it is, is there. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even remember Donald I don't Glover. I want to see it just yeah. to see. But he There's has a like club. a baby's body. I don't want to see yeah. a little boy body. Uh, yes. But we, we saw Guava Island. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he has like his shirt little, open. Yeah, that's whole, how I felt the whole time. I was like, yeah. please close that shirt. Guava Island. Because you have a little boy's body. He's wearing thong sandals, short shorts. And an open button up shirt. No. Yeah, the movie. whole time. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, we saw Why that. Why is he we always trying to show too. his body? <laughs> that was one of those. We did. Uh, <laughs> that was one that of those um, uh, visual I told poem you we need movies. to get more edibles. <laughs> I did mention that to him. Because he the only likes thing to smoke, and I don't like to smoke. I don't like to smoke either. I've never been so inebriated on anything ever where I can't function. Yeah. And when well, people say they are, I feel like they're liars. Except for that one night at yeah. the MGM. Oh, oh, you're getting called out. How dare you? Which night? Which one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah which time? Which one? Kevin's birthday party? Oh, God. I was super fucked up. but And I got kicked out of the club. <laughs> Have whole... you ever had a blackout moment? No, I've never. I have See, either. That's, I've that's never the thing. I haven't moment. either. I remember. I, know, I remember everything that happened. Right. I know I was fucked up, and I remember everything that happened. I remember throwing up in your car, Frank. I remember that. I just couldn't. Yeah. Not throw up, and I couldn't <laughs> stand up Could straight. Not throw up. I couldn't. Like, I can't say it. Look, Lance, you have you have this face. Like, you're about to sit. Like, <laughs> you know my friends tell that clip. story every time. About what? How... With the shoes? Yeah, about you? No, no, no. <laughs> I was going to say, what? Well, you story. lost your shoe? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 a, about it's that. a story yeah. about me. 
Yeah. About a night that is, I call it the the lost file. Oh. Like, so, I thought you had a lot of those. Uh-oh. But the one they talk about So you're about one of those people looking say, blackout drunk. I've never been blacked out. So I. Well, what is it? What happens to you when you're blacked out? You're blacked out. It's <laughs> you don't remember. <laughs> you're just gone. Yeah. That's the thing. It was like. You don't uh, know. There's 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 a big missing chunk. I'll say. And I heard lots of funny stories about what happened. So he's okay. still doing stuff. He just obviously doesn't remember. Okay, what, what were, you, what were doing. you doing during this time? Apparently, like punching people. And somebody, stuff. Punching apparently, people. Or slap, didn't you slap? Yes, yeah, right, apparently somebody got slapped. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, somebody, so somebody got maybe. slapped. I don't know who it was, but they got it. Yeah. <laughs> and it, right. it turned into a thing. Start like, so start at the beginning. I don't yeah, go anything. ahead and tell the story. Yeah, start at the beginning. <laughs> <sighs> See what was, had happened was. <laughs> well, there, there is yeah. a what had happened was. What had happened was. <laughs> I had for whatever reason gone on a long hiatus from drinking. Mm-hmm. But my friends decided to throw a big party. Okay. And it it was it was a two pronged attack when <laughs> attack. <laughs> of course he's, he's Who was attacking he, you. I'm attack. trying to drink here, man. You almost made me spit my shit out. <laughs> the first part of the combo came from came from Will. Uh-huh. He was driving. Always he picked me up. That fool but Will. Yeah. Before but before we went out, he had like all the liquor in the world and he was like Making me drink with him. Okay. But I was fine then. Mm-hmm. And my other friend, Jonathan, we actually got to the party. He had this mixed drink in a punch bowl. And it's it was like. the fucking punch bowl, It was man. dark. It was like dark red drink. Okay. And this is the last thing. This is the, this is the very last thing I remember from the night. Okay. I said, what is this? He said, I call it jungle juice. Okay. And I remember doing this to a cup and seeing red drink. <laughs> And that's it. It's like and then the lift, very next lift off yes. with the cup and, this and then is, it's gone. Without anybody, without anybody telling me anything else. It didn't have I to remember sit. that. It didn't have to hit you. It, it hit you as you were drinking. It's I remember, hit. I remember that. I need this recipe. Yeah. Can we call him? No. Stuff in that. And then the next thing I remember is waking up at home. How'd you get home? Next yeah, to. Yeah. This is the next thing that I remember. I woke up at home on the floor next to the bed. <laughs> With a polo shirt on. Was it your in my, polo shirt? In my, it's my clothes. Okay. In my underwear with my high top sneakers on. <laughs> and my jeans were folded neatly on top of the How the fuck did you get out of your pants? <laughs> How'd you get out of your pants? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> They started to come in. <laughs> oh man, you were slapping fools. Right, so, so who called you first? <laughs> Probably Will <laughs> or Jonathan. Which one? <laughs> he can't remember. There was a lot of them. I got I got about ten calls that day. Okay, run through them real quick. I don't I don't I can't remember them in order. But it was like it was it was enough to piece together the loss. Well, other people's rendition. It, it was like that movie Vantage Point. Is what it was okay. Like. You had to piece together other people's perspective. I had three cameras and. Because <laughs> one of my friends, his name is Canto, and Canto. he's a well. That's his last name. Not a real. He's name. a believer. That's, that's not a real name. name. That's his last name. Okay. But uh, <laughs> uh, the reason I love hanging out with him is like we we always just just whenever we hang out, it's always hilarious. We always have a great time, and so his telling of the story I remember it the most because it was the funniest. Because mm-hmm. he said he can always tell when I'm drunk because I start rubbing my head. <laughs> <laughs> he said That's true. he was like he said I start rubbing my head and then he's like. He could tell something bad is about to happen because I start like rubbing my head and like swaying back and forth. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> something bad is about to happen. But he said, 
I, he said, I was sitting down. I started doing the head rubbing, <laughs> swaying back and forth. And I got up and I was just smiling. <laughs> Sounds like an instant knockout. And then I would just randomly walked over to another one of our friends named Marty while he was dancing. And I slapped the hell out of him. <laughs> you slapping fools. Yeah. And, and, and you weren't you weren't there. No, no, this is before me. And everybody, <laughs> I've heard the story. And everybody said several times. Everybody said it was so hard, and he was actually trying not to cry. <laughs> he's, he's That's how I know it's him. true because I've heard from several different sources. Okay. That he's actually done this. So. He's trying to keep it in. He's trying not to cry. He's like, no, man, I'm all right, man. Mind you, Marty. Marty is a very slight individual. Very small. <laughs> he's a very slight individual. So they were saying that he was he was mad, so mad that he wanted to fight, but not enough to actually attack me back. Uh, he, he couldn't follow through. No, no. It was it was a very pitiable, impotent rage. <laughs> and then, what further exacerbated the situation? Apparently, because I don't remember any of this. I start just bodily laughing. <laughs> just, 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 I'm holding myself and just you're getting all, <laughs> just getting all jolly and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so he turned to Santa Claus. Yeah, he was in Santa mode. <laughs> he was Santa mode. Uh oh, everybody's in trouble. <laughs> Santa's in town. So that made Marty <laughs> even matter, didn't it? <laughs> she was just laughing in front of everybody. I think Anna's gonna pee on herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have tears. And my tears. Dream, I stand by the fact today that I don't remember any of this, so it didn't happen. But, so yeah, I've never been there. So, what does Marty say to you about they're, this they after? Became, they're still friends, right? Okay. Or they were. Uh, <laughs> People bring it up though when he's was, around, and he just doesn't like to talk about it. Every every time well, I see it, he remember. So, what year was this? This was before smartphones and video and. <laughs> Yeah, the shows no yeah, video, right? Yeah. There wasn't I don't no, think people were pulling out phones. There wasn't a creepo in the then. corner taking videos. No. Oh, boo. This is not documented. <laughs> Thankfully. No, yeah, you got to keep that shit out. Yeah, don't you hate how you can't get away with shit anymore because everybody has a yeah. smartphone now? <laughs> yeah. No, and then, apparently, um, Will was trying to get me out of the party because it started to, things, things started to uh, devolve. <laughs> Another guy tried to fight me on Marty's behalf. Apparently, I just kind of like pushed him and started laughing at him too. And <laughs> he was just trying to stand up for his homie. Yeah, you just and you just like smiling, laughing like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> you just discounted him and pushed him out the way, like pushed yeah. his face down, like like how like no, oh, you're funny. Yeah, he does those kind of So things. you're a happy, violent drunk. Is that it? I don't remember this. Usually it's like one or other. You get violent or happy. You're both. You're the magic drunk man. I, <laughs> the it was whatever storm. was in that yeah, red drink. Storm, exactly. <laughs> it was the red drink. It was the red drink. But like even when we were when we were at Juan's wedding, they were making a joke. Oh no. why? They were they were making a joke that uh the dude Marty that on Facebook, how he all he does is make posts about how he's mad at women, and Will said that I slapped all the happiness out of him that day. Oh, <laughs> I ever remember that? That was a turning point mm-hmm. in his life. He decided he just had the give happiness. Up. Yeah, he, he just didn't get his license. Didn't want to move out. Who was he living with? He didn't want to get his license. Oh, he was living with the girls. Huh? He lives in California. He's my age, and he's ne- he doesn't have a driver's license. He just slapped him so hard. Yeah. What? He just. California doesn't have a driver's license. Exactly. How and how he's life? like your age, right? Yeah. Okay, so how does he live his life without a license? Very shabby. Uh, <laughs> he has women driving around. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're one Your what slap was a turning you point. Just, slap. just you slept all his hope. entire that life. Like the, you like slept all hope, out of all hope out of him Doctor for Strange any kind of the... nice future. <laughs> <laughs> just said, I just give up. 
The chick just pushes the soul out of the yeah. guy in Doctor Strange. He just gave up. He's like, you know what? You slapped his soul. You slapped the soul out of that be, motherfucker. To be fair, I normally don't know that technique. I, do, I normally don't know it. So it so that's your special, superpower when you get a drunk. special night. I don't, I don't, normally, I don't go. Yeah. Soul. Yeah, I know it's soul for you. The twisting soul. <laughs> Your superpowers come out when you're drunk. Yeah. Astro slap. <laughs> astro slap. Astro. You got it. You astral, so you got to get in the soul realm. You go. You go past the meat. Past, past the, the meat, meat. into 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 Man, the energy. He is, he's on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> You saw like the guy sounds like Frank this morning. He's like, So what are you making for breakfast this morning? I said, the same thing I always do. Nothing. And he's like, No, you're making disappointment like you do every morning. I was like, damn. You made disappointment. Gosh. Yes. Let me hold on to some things. Yeah. You're slapping souls out. I'm giving disappointment every morning. <laughs> We're a winning well, team, you're, Lance, you're, you're, you and I. Apparently you gotten good at cooking it. So. <laughs> I am good. Oh, you gotta, you gotta play to your strengths. <laughs> So that so homie he still hasn't recovered from it is what you're trying to tell me. I, I feel like I'm getting blamed where blame is not due. Like I'm 10, just... 15 years later, he's still so messed up. <laughs> Mind <laughs> you, red drink, jungle been, juice, we, lance. We, we've been cool with each other after. Yeah, this, right? yeah. <laughs> this was before I was with Lance, and I would and see them. You know, I'd met him, and he's still cool. So you don't think you guys gonna meet up, and he's just gonna rage on you one day? He had plenty of opportunities. Yeah. But uh is he still a slight man? Yes. yes. He's gotta bulk up and then he's like every day he's no, like lifting he's in the up. gym like motherfucking Lance. I don't, <laughs> I, don't I don't think he has bulk he, ability. He he's, working yeah, you, he's, he's working He's working to check towards on it. Marty. See yeah. what's going every on. Every day he's like, one day. <laughs> Ask Jonathan how Marty's doing. He has a I don't, picture I don't, of I don't, you I don't think he's doing the Cape Fear. Yeah, he's like full on. Is a picture of you next to his bed. Like, oh, just wow. for motivation. <sighs> Never even think about Fucking that. How you can affect somebody's life like that. I'm gonna slap his whole his hopes and dreams out of his body. And I, I apologize to him and everything. And it's just like <laughs> the, the crazy thing is I don't remember it at all. It's like what, it's like just, uh, what? Oh, but didn't you do What's that? The guy's someone name? else. Uh, no. <laughs> you, did the, you slapped what? someone else on the, their the body. lawn in front of your house. There was a second slap. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a story about you punching somebody named De- Devon? What was his name? Devonji? I think that Devonji. was his name. Devonji, fuck. Is this somebody you hit? Or you, were you guys actually like. No, that dude got beat up by other people. Oh. Uh, you just were happy. You just happened to be there yeah. at the time. No, we were at a party that got like. No, a no. bunch of like gangbangers storm the party and oh. beat this dude up. I oh. had nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. Lance has stories. Lance do you think gangbangers just go around looking for parties to fuck people up? Uh, yes. They apparently do, right? Yes. I do think that. I'm calling Lance out, but he has stories about that too. You kind of have a part in the story. I do? A little oh. bit. Oh, in the cameo. In this one. Cameo. In the second song? Yeah, cameo. cameo. Right here. <laughs> Special guest star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. All right, hit us with it. He's ready to go. Uh, let's summarize. Uh, it was Will's birthday. He threw a party at his house. Gotta and go back in gang time. gang bangers like uh, storm this party, but it was like a lot of them. It was oh like no. it was like twenty five dudes. I, nobody knows. Back in the time before there were cell, cell phones. phones and internet, like, who and was stuff. telling them? Like, I guess they just hey, what, hey, drive yo, around or they yo. hear the music. Gang it was about, bangers. It was, it was about twenty five dudes to turn into this all out brawl. Oh no! And uh, like fifteen of them wanted to fight me at once. Okay. And I was actually kind of winning. Was the Uh-oh. funny part. But why would you? I like, didn't have a, have a choice. choice. Okay, I'm sorry. It's it's hard to be a boy. I get it. I'm sorry. Yeah. If someone I've starts had... attacking you, you you're no now choice. in a fight. Yeah. That's how it works. Okay. Never had uh, that if, happen. Honestly, if I if I got to choose, <laughs> I would have declined. Mm-hmm. <laughs> declined. I would have been like, you know what? No thanks. Guys, no. I'm sorry. I'm not in the fight. Mood I got some today. stuff I got to do. I got some shit on the other side of town. I actually came to your house right after that 
because you were on bed rest because you were pregnant with Sophie and you wanted some help. And I came out here and I don't know if you remember, I had a black eye when I showed up. That no, was from that. That was a long time ago. Wow. What did you that say it was that from? long ago. I'm curious I guess what it the, was that long what the ago. Was what long. you said was the reason for the black eye. It would have been like, have an tw- excuse? like 12 or 13 years ago. Yeah. I don't remember oh. what I said. You uh, fail. I, I, fought fell. A, I fought a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Gosh. All all in one sitting. Being a boy is tough, huh? I even got a bottle a boy in, in my face. L.A. Yeah. In L.A. boys, it's hard to be a boy in L.A.? Well, Back then, I, 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 guess told, I told her, if you're a black guy in L.A., you get hit as often as women get hit on. What? I mean, that was a lot. Yeah, I was so... Amazed by that because I never because yeah, her her I, brother casually mentioned yeah, it. Yeah, that's had. what really? confirmed it. Yeah, he says that. I mean, just gangs. You know, they go and try to bang on him while he's waiting for the bus, or mm-hmm. just various parties and things where they they get like shot you're just up. Not safe anywhere. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, I guess we're lucky we don't have that yeah. problem. It just depends on the setting. Just like. All I grew up around was other black kids, right? Mm-hmm. So, what in ret- retrospectively, what made other black kids want to fight me so often is that I'm light skinned with curly hair and glasses. <laughs> and I was kind of big. So, prison rules, they feel like they can prison get some credit rules. by trying to check yeah. me. Uh huh. And so, just so many people have tried to do it over a short period of time, I kind of learned to fight. Okay. So it's it was like I think you even mentioned that Pat was saying like he never had to fight in high school mm-hmm. because I already defeated all the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Elias is like I made it to the big boss. He's defeated, and so you're safe now. I, I literally, I literally, guys. I literally cleared all the levels before, <laughs> before he showed up. He didn't have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. I guess it's great for him, but you know I don't think he's threatening to other guys though so i what that was the point i wasn't either no you're threatening because you're big but yeah. i wasn't you're born taller than average guys. but i wasn't born six something so Kinda. kids have been no no no, no. <laughs> yeah. but but literally since i was like a really little kid just playing outside riding my bike and stuff that's when other kids started like fucking with me and fighting me what that's when it started. No, he my little boy is never leaving the house again. <laughs> he barely leaves it now. He's never leaving it. Um, but I think that's really just I, I won't say just LA, but I think LA yeah, the setting a, had yeah. a Los Angeles. Big, is where, a did you have issues as a boy in Los Angeles as a not black, but growing up in neighborhoods that you have boys trying to fight you all the time? Well, I was always the not black person in every situation. Oh, that's. <laughs> Because I grew up in Inglewood and yeah. L.A. and South Central. Uh-huh. So. Now, see, this is what <laughs> I think we were talking about this. It's like how you're talking about, oh, Frank never fights. And I was like, man, I don't want he Frank. has. I'm talking about him. Okay. He, he's he got stories about how him and his homies beat somebody with a skateboard. You just don't know those stories. What? Frank. I'm not saying that's what literally <laughs> happened. Like, like, uh, no don't say anything to he's him. Got, he's got stories like that. I hate violence. I'm very, very... You like can't, I said, I'm a pacifist. And the, and you what can't I is, have to walk around L.A. and nothing oh, like that happen. That's what um, I'm trying to tell you. That you living you in California, like, you literally cannot avoid people fucking with you. You cannot yeah, avoid it. People fuck with you all the time. It's just like... Gosh. Trying to make it so it never rains. I'm it's never just like going can't do it. Yeah. It's like that uh, in the movie. Uh, what was it Swingers? When mm-hmm. he was like, I, I grew up in New York. You know, trouble finds you. You don't look for trouble. Trouble finds you. Okay. Same thing was in L.A. You can't not be around a position where someone's trying to fight. Mm-hmm. That's why it's like I wasn't trying to fight. I just it just kept happening to me a lot. That's and so lucky for me, it because, is. Yeah. I was I was so amazed or shocked i guess not amazed but shocked in hearing that it's a common thread in yeah. black men or men i guess young men in general in la i hear that a lot that people well, just in, mess in, with them. in cities where there's a, a large population yeah because like when i was telling you when i was, went to boston 
I mean, I oh, so many fights. I saw <laughs> so I, many fights. I, yeah. I, I saw a few attempted fights, but I actually saw a fight right in front of wow. me. And this dude got knocked out. And uh, wow. later on, the guy was like, oh, yeah, I deserved it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a fight. I mean, except in high school. Yeah, yeah there was high always school. Yeah. Like, middle school for me. Yeah, it was like it was, it girls was every yeah. lunch, every day <laughs> yeah. at lunch. Somebody's pulling out somebody's weave or somebody's like gold yep. earrings back then when I was young. Everybody had those gold, the big hoop, mm-hmm. like the are the yeah, chunky, um, like yeah. rectangle shaped ones, mm-hmm. and there was earrings getting ripped out, and there was weaves getting ripped out, yeah. all over the place. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't, even though I lived, you know, my grandparents lived in not a great area, and I'd walk home from school and see people walking around. I I never, I don't think I've ever seen that kind of violence in person either like in your adult life or just yeah that's the only the only fights i've really seen have been in high school mm-hmm. you know on the yard yeah same thing some yeah. shit. on the yard you make it sound like prison <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh because that's what what would happen like, everybody lunch, would run so like, it would be on just, the yard yeah, yeah everybody yeah, starts yeah. running towards right. yeah the... right. why can't we just eat lunch right why do we have to that's, that's, uh, on our yard. i would say that's another male female difference that as you could probably go most of your formative years as a girl and never ever have to fight Mm-hmm. But boys just can't yeah. do that. I bet you, if we had Patrick, boys would have he's to never deal with fought anybody. <laughs> no, he's uh, he's have, he's fought. Can you imagine him fighting? Corey? No, <laughs> like I can't. No. But he didn't do he well. Told but me he the fought. story. Yeah, yeah. he Lance yeah, made him fight. Right, <laughs> Lance, you made him fight. Well, <laughs> well, see what had happened was. Yep. That's what <laughs> no, it was it was prescriptive because. <laughs> He had gotten used to. <laughs> this this is when I was in high school, and he had gotten used to. You know, he's kind of quick with his mouth. Yeah. He had got used to just. He got too comfortable trying to be quick with his mouth with people uh-huh. and not actually having a fight mm-hmm. because you know people would say, "Oh, are you Lance's brother?" And you know, he he kind of got a little pass here. So and he was trading on your name. Yeah. <laughs> But there was this kid who lived on our block who rode our bus, and Pat was just you know, a little too slick with him, uh-huh. and he wanted to fight. And so Pat's like, "My brother's here," and I'm like, "Dude, you gotta handle this." Uh oh, because it's like you know, one day I'm gonna graduate. You're gonna have to <laughs> cash your own checks. So uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> time to start paying up. And so, so what happened? Uh, you can't got, stop there. He got beat up. The he got beat up. He got beat up. He was leaning on you a little too hard, huh? I kept, I, I was trying to coach him through, and you know, coach him through. But he took it. <laughs> Pat, he wasn't, don't he just stand there. <laughs> hit him, hit him. He wasn't very coachable. Oh. oh. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't learn dynamically on the fly. See, this is what I remember from middle school. I'm going to talk about boys. They used to measure their dicks. Do you guys like do have measuring? Do you still do that as grown up men? Do you measure your dicks? It's like I have this big, big dick power. And you don't. What power do you get from <laughs> trivializing? <laughs> yeah, man. It's like anything this, anything, no, thing, anything that somebody. Dick energy? Yes, like that's thank a, you. A thing that it's a use thing. Today. I hear it all the time. Big dick energy. I'm like, what? So it, no, it, it has it, to have derived from somewhere. Because shit. Because little dudes are always trying to compensate. They can have big not... dicks and be tiny too. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell right away. But basically, you can tell, see? You can there's tell. just just well, like Lance there's knows. just Lance like knows. there's men who are trying to. They're always the the loud one. They're always trying yeah. to be yeah. seen. They uh-huh. want attention. They're, those are the ones with the tiny dicks. Okay. And it's, okay. And it's like you know. Now you who's don't generalizing. Need to, <laughs> but again, that goes with that in the masculine world. There's there's the threat of violence, so you uh-huh. have to assess other Uh-oh. men quickly. So you have to kind of quickly judge where they're coming from. Mm-hmm. Why is this guy so loud? Why is he talking over me? Why is he trying to seem like you know he's better at something when clearly he's just this you know loud asshole? <laughs> yeah, I have to deal with that all the time, all the time. On, almost on a daily basis. But aren't you the la- the loud asshole? No, no. no. <laughs> I just sit there and like let the people talk and say their bullshit because everybody always acts like they know what they're talking about. Yeah. But when and you when you when you're talking to some, it's not like like don't 
in order to get your point across, you don't have to talk over somebody. You can be firm with them, look them in their eye, let mm-hmm. them know what's going on. And you don't say shit else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Typically, when you put somebody in your place in their place, it's real brief. Yeah. And even the 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 most satisfying shutdown of somebody, it's not even loud. True story. You kind of you, you might even say it low, so they got to lean in to listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excuse me. Why are you talking to me like that? Uh oh. In check. <laughs> No, I have to check people all the time. But, I mean, I've, okay. I, I have to do it so often that I have a formula. Like, I just let them get their word out, and then I just quickly shut them down, and then they know to leave me alone. That they, they know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, I know what I'm talking about. So just get out of my fucking way. But, and okay, me so and this the people is... that work for me, back and forth with we people know what we're doing. Equal relevance. So if you're having a back and forth with them, they they have some power. So maybe, yeah. but when, you, maybe. when my... you just let them know, okay. when you let them know, when you walk away, they, yeah. they then they know they have no recourse. But what I'm feeling, what I'm hearing from you two dudes, is that men are still animals on the animal level. Yeah, we absolutely. all are. Yeah, yeah. Maybe women have surpassed you in not being animals anymore. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, have you ever? I'm heard... dropping the mic. Yeah. Dropping so, the motherfucking mic. So, have you ever heard the term? <laughs> so nesting is not an animalistic behavior yeah. common to women. And gossip. Yeah. You ever heard of gossip? Is that animal? Animals gossip. They don't even fucking no, talk. No, that's a female. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about animal though, that's traits. Good. That's nesting. True. Yeah, I have no control over that. I fucking hate it because I know. Oh, my period's coming because I'm nesting now. I got to clean everything in the entire house all of a sudden like why do i want to clean so much or why do i have to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be all of a sudden i don't even care and i don't appreciate that so you're a giant bird so (laughs) (laughs) perhaps i am i you got me there mike is picked back up (laughs) oh god i'm screwed up (laughs) everything is like Too much was it? Creamy Jack. (laughs) You make it sound like something else. (laughs) What's it sound like? Creamy Jack? Stop saying it. (laughs) (laughs) Creamy Jack is delicious. (laughs) It just kind of sounds like cheese, actually. Creamy Creamy Jack? Yeah, that does sound like cheese. But it's gross to drink it. Yeah, that would be gross to drink some Creamy Jack. It's just whiskey and cream soda. It's uh, delightful. Blended up quesadilla. Oh, I... (laughs) It's a taste sensation, not the way you say it, though. Yummy. What were you drinking? Just Jack. Oh, straight, straight Jack. Ooh. Nothing creamy about straight, it. Straight, straight Jack, no cream. No Uh-oh. cream. You're missing it because it's, it is a taste sensation. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Mm-hmm. And you're just drinking kombucha. Lance is like was a pro drinker. Oh, I mean, Lance. pro. Oh, well. So I, I know. Lance I mean, that's skill. <laughs> Look at this. It's you common now smile. with water, but oh, Lance is feeling. He feels. had to teach me how to drink uh-huh. because apparently I didn't. I didn't know all the rules. <laughs> you do have to stay hydrated. Well, Every, everybody has stories back in the day about how <laughs> yeah. they, they they like to take away their personal responsibility and say that I made them drink. And... <laughs> <laughs> I just wish we could get everyone together who said that because there would be a story where you probably did force them to drink. Because I've Uh-oh. seen you in action. I've seen you. No, just drink this. Drink, drink 90 proof liquor. What <laughs> it was, was it? 103 proof. Oh, actually. okay. Oh, Sorry. Ooh. Excuse me. Excuse me. 103. But so yeah, you, Lance is a bad influence. Isn't that stuff that makes you blind? <laughs> He's a bad influence. It's, it's disgusting. The funniest thing mommy ever said to me, and it just like, I didn't even know what to say. She said, I saw you sleeping with your leg hanging off the bed. You must be doing those drugs. What? Because <laughs> your leg was off the bed? Like, how dare you? What kind of weird <laughs> drugs are you taking? So I'm just like, huh? How, how did you take that and put it into that? <laughs> like, how did... Because <laughs> she hears drugs are a thing that the kids are doing. So your legs, doing, lay, lay, legs, legs hanging off symptoms, but she doesn't know what they are. Legs hanging off the bed while you're sleeping, so you must be you doing. You don't normally drugs. sleep because they don't have those off. trying. They, also, they didn't have those kind of drugs back when she was young. So what? <laughs> so did you say no? I never. Or you're like, yeah, that's me. I'm doing all the drugs. You got me. No, I, I, I think I literally asked her like, 
what drug <laughs> has to do with like leg position while you sleep? <laughs> Explain it to me. Does she have an answer? No. Just, <laughs> just like, you know, just a crazy, just like, well, you know, you don't you don't normally sleep like that. Like, I'm asleep. I don't know what I sleep like. <laughs> I just wake up and move. <laughs> hey, speaking of drugs, have you ever tried ecstasy? Oh no. God, <laughs> I have. Lance doesn't like me talking about it, but Is I it have. Pre Lance? Yeah, it was pre Lance, but how, well, no. how, it's what, fucking what was awesome. Your experience? <laughs> what was your experience? Uh, it wasn't bad, but I only took half, yeah. so I was too scared to take a whole one, even though they're small. Yeah, but. It, it, I remember it, and it wasn't. I didn't have a bad experience. Like I, I after I took it, I went to a club and was dancing, and it was, yeah, it was it fun, just, and you have a know, fun time. That I was think it. I like it better than marijuana. Really, and I know a lot of people think marijuana is like super, like oh, it's regular everyday drugs. I think ecstasy is much more fun. You have this a really good you, time. This but is d- part of why that leg thing bothered me so much because <laughs> like. My entire life, I've been the most non-drug takingist. Yeah, me too. This like, is non-drug yeah. takingist. <laughs> this all started um, when I got into my forties. So I mean, it wasn't like oh, when I was in high school, I was like trying everything. I tried nothing in high school, yeah, and neither. I was not interested in college, none of that stuff. And then by the time I got into college, it's kind of being becoming a mom, um, and so it's just like not interesting to me. This is just like I've decided to be. In the last few years, last two or three years, I want to say yes to more things and try more stuff. I had and to, drugs just happen to be one of the things I say <laughs> yes it, to. It, it took it took me hurting myself bad enough to entertain Uh-oh. the idea of even trying pain medication. It was like that serious. <laughs> yeah, that's me too. And when I see people out of control with drugs or alcohol or something like that, I think it's just like so fucking annoying. No interest in that. But we did decide to start trying stuff because we're old people now. We were like, hey, we never did this shit. Let's do this shit. Um, just to have new experiences. And we tried ecstasy and I thought it was fucking great because I felt like as a fat old lady, I felt like I can like, like, I just want to run. So what <laughs> like, you, were, were you yeah. just at home? We were at home. We oh, didn't okay. know what was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. No, you were trying was, all the first we time. We decided yeah. way ahead of time. That yeah. We were not we going to be home when we tried okay. it. Yeah. And yeah. so it was why the kids were away. It was rum springa. It was rum springa. Yeah. And so it was like a perfect opportunity and there was no children in the house. And then the thing is, is that although our older daughter, Tabitha never comes home the night that we were so high, we were watching, uh, uh, magic Mike two and laughing our asses off. She came home that night. Of course. And we were just laughing like idiots on the sofa in the living room. She had to walk past us. And like she has to know we're fucking high because we're just idiots. Oh right yeah. Now. <laughs> and then when we tried ecstasy, I think that night she came home too. Yeah. And we were, like up it was like three o'clock in the morning we're still like up like yeah, walking it was three thirty in the morning yeah. she walking, came home not normal she came home we were still watching tv yeah on the sofa at first like i don't think i can sit down anymore yeah. I, I was like i think i feel like i gotta do some laps <laughs> he was like walking around like just walking around living the house. room and dining room <laughs> So, it was crazy. <laughs> so, it was crazy. So funny. It was fun. Like, yeah. And I felt like it's, happy. It's, like, oh my God, this is so great. And everything was great. And, but I did have a full, whole day of hangover. Mm. A full day. Was that, did that was that Friday? The, oh, yes. It was Friday, right? So, all Saturday, I just was in bed all Saturday. So, I wouldn't do it again. Well, we didn't go to sleep until like five it o'clock was, yeah yes. <laughs> it was like five five thirty when the time we went to sleep yeah that was fun though i mean i would do it again next summer when the kids are away next, <laughs> next summer. summer like i would fucking i would i would do smacks okay <laughs> what was what was your experience with it like i said i took half so it, it i mean i just felt it was like i felt really buzzed off alcohol yeah you know? so i remember everything and I remember it. I was. I actually got that energy, but yeah. I used it at the club. So yeah. I was dancing, and you know, I woke up the next morning. I, I don't think I had a hangover. Actually, you were probably young. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was. I was in college. So. Yeah. So. Um. But yeah, I didn't. It wasn't bad to me. You know. I thought it was fucking great. 
<laughs> yeah, I've heard I've heard some stories of bad experiences. Yeah, I have to, I've and that's those... I think that's kept me from doing it again. I only did yeah. it that once, and I, I would. You were scared to do it yeah. again. I've just heard, yeah, yeah. that people have bad. T- yeah. Well, I and it's funny because I was talking to to Frank's friend about this. Uh, he had tried experimented with the two, like both of us at the same time. He was saying like, I had this really bad trip where I felt like I was going to die. I thought mm-hmm. I was going to die. I was going to die. Like, I, I felt like, felt that off yeah, of my marijuana body, like, before, I felt though. like, this is it. This is how I die. I overdosed but on marijuana. One of and the main so, things about yeah, weed is that it speeds up your heart rate. Yeah. Well, it wasn't yeah, even that. I was, I was like my body. I was on I, like, weed where like, I felt like, yeah, I felt like I was going to die. I felt like I need to get out of my body. Like I can't deal with this feeling. And he felt like that too. He's like, I don't think I like marijuana. I was like, I feel the same way. Like, I feel like, like I'm going to die. And like, yeah. like everything is like moving or something. I don't know. That's why that first time when we were laughing and stuff, it was like, uh, I felt like weed was stupid because it's just like, I had to just go to sleep. Cause I, yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs> it's like, I'm tired of being high. I feel like, it doesn't, feel like. Because, you I'm know, when you drink, it kind of, like, yeah. ebbs yeah, and flow. Yeah. It can go down. Right. But the high was just, it was just there. Yeah. Like, you just had to get away from it. And that's why I feel on marijuana. Like, so I feel like I need to get away from it. But on X, I didn't feel like I need to get away. Yeah. I felt like, this is fun. I'm having a good time. No point that I feel like I'm going to fucking die. I'm going to die. Today's I, it. I got to do some laps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's just walk around the house. This is great. Do you remember do you, what, what, what were we watching on TV? I don't know. I was like, everything was great, though. Whatever it was. <laughs> Do some lap. It's fucking great. <laughs> like, I look forward to doing it again um, in the summertime. Um, but it was fun. And I never felt the fear. Yeah. Like, I feel like marijuana gives you, if you're a novice, like I am, fear. And I had fear more than fun. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the paranoia. Is that? Oh. Yeah, you're getting paranoid. I've only, oh, yeah, I've I've never had, I mean, I've had that one bad experience on edible, but that was, that was a homemade edible, so oh. maybe that was the problem. It was <laughs> yes. too much. Oh, that one. Anna was making homemade edibles. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know, the, I remember. Mm-hmm. I, I, had, I, I got this you. butter, <laughs> and uh, she started making cookies, oh, and, yeah. and you only really need, like, a tiny. Uh, well, see, tiny I wouldn't have known that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have known that. In a batch of butter. I was just putting and butter. And she started making it, and I was like, "How much are you putting in that?" She was like, um, "The regular amount of butter." Right. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but you guys the enjoyed down. them, didn't you? Dude, you put way too much. In that shit. There's like, I, I I was actually just talking to Lance about that because they hosted, I guess, some class called Cooking with Marijuana out uh, here. Yeah. Um, just recently, and I was like, you know, I. How would you cook with that? Uh, said, just throw in yeah, that's butter what he everything. just said. Just the butter. <laughs> yeah, you do butter or oil in. Oh, okay. There was a what was that show? But apparently, it's not the same amount. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. that's good to know because I cookies, wouldn't have known. Those cookies were awesome, one. though. I'm just, I'm just saying. No, they had really good flavor, but they still had too much. So you were just too high. So you were like <laughs> me and and Mark. You were like, oh no. I'm I think die. a part of it is if you're panicked before you start. Like if you're thinking about. If you kind of have a, a reluctance before you smoke it, it it, it turns into like a crazy high. It amplifies high. your reluctance. Because I'll, I, I, now that I remember, it wasn't the first time that stopped me from smoking. It was the second time because it was right after that. Mm-hmm. One of my my friend Canto again, he's Belizean. So he always has like the crazy Belizean weed. <laughs> and, uh, I remember I was I, I was is it I was stronger I was, than regular. We were no, hang, it is. We, we, we we were it's hanging like out. Weed. We I were, don't know. We were hanging out like right after that, and he's like, "Oh man, you smoke with everybody else. You didn't smoke with me though." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, we can do it another time." He's like, "I got some shit right now," <laughs> and I wasn't you know intending on doing it. I wasn't at home. Okay. But I was close. I was at a friend's house. It was like right around the corner, and so. Peer pressure, he just wouldn't take no for an answer. Fucking peer pressure. So he even has, he had his stuff in these like pill bottles that pop open and stuff. And, you know, he'd open the bottle and you would just smell it. it was just, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I got that banana kush. And okay. I just took one puff 
and I was like, all right, man, I got to leave. Like, why you got to go? And, like, literally, I was trying to outrun getting high. <laughs> yeah, I was trying, yeah. to, oh, I was trying to get can home. Can I make it? Can I make uh, it? Before it kicked in. But I didn't make it. <laughs> just like, Courtney, she thinks it's the funniest story ever because it just felt like there were waves that just kept hitting me and, like, it kept pushing me in the car. It was just, like, back and forth. And it was, like, the craziest shortest distance i've ever driven Mm -hmm. because it was literally like i had to go one block (laughs) one block one right turn and you were on the shore in that little boat and it's just like it just (laughs) felt like i just kept going (laughs) (laughs) it was like four minutes but it felt like four hours (laughs) it just it, it, it was short it was short but it was harrowing didn't you get pulled over by the cops or something? I've been pulled over by the cops a lot. No, during that experience. No. You didn't talk to a cop that time? No. Okay. Uh, it was too short to drive. <laughs> the, the cops didn't have time. <laughs> real real short drive. But, but difficult. Very difficult. No, I've, I've been there before. But I was trying to... I'm out, sure you have. It, before it hit, I was, sh- I was trying to outrun it. I was trying to like, oh man, this, this is going to be crazy because this banana kush is... The I banana just, crush. I can just smell how strong it smells. <laughs> you know how it smells when some it, like it smells like somebody's been smoking like in a room. Yeah. Like it smell like somebody's jacket. <laughs> no, like somebody's literally like somebody's like the, in the room. You're hot like, boxing smoking. in one room. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you opened it. No, it's it smelled. I got lit. a contact high from just smelling the weed in the jar. <laughs> I don't remember yeah. where I was. Oh, you know where it was is uh, I was in New York, not this Weird. year, but the year before that, mm. and <laughs> it was me, Kevin. <laughs> we 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 got because he gets with his friends and he acts stupid, yeah. like boys do when they get together. Exactly. So no, uh, so we got up. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, I want to go to this uh, Mexican restaurant for brunch uh-huh. because they have like this gigantic margarita that mm-hmm. you can get and it was like uh, it was like a tower a margarita tower like this like uh, uh three or four foot high like the yard house sort of deal yeah but it wasn't it, it had like a, a nozzle oh. right so we got the the mango margarita and it was just me and kevin and uh jermaine was supposed to meet us so they they mix the whole thing and they bring it out and it's a tower it takes two people to bring it out mm-hmm. and i think it's normally for like four or five people but it was just me and Kevin, and <laughs> we had just gotten up. So it was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we drank like 90% of this fucking thing. Mm. And then Jermaine got there, and he had like the rest of it because we were just hammered I'm after sure. this. And we were like, oh, let's go. Uh, we were right up the street from the where you get to the um, ferry to go over to the Queen Mary. Uh-huh. Not the Queen Mary, sorry. There's no Queen Mary in New York. <laughs> you still are so high, you don't even remember. <laughs> Not the Queen Mary, the um, uh, Lady Liberty. What's her name? The Statue of Liberty. Gosh. So we're like, oh, let's go on the Statue of Liberty. What's that statue? The Liberty Bay. <laughs> <laughs> the Liberty Bay statue. Lady. <laughs> and Jermaine's like, oh, it's just like three blocks away from here. And I was like, oh, shit, let's go on that bitch right now. And Kevin and I started smoking on the way there. We were already hammered I'm... drunk. And Kevin was like, oh, I got the fucking thing. And I was like, oh, let's let's do it. We were so fucking high on that boat. I don't think I, I, I had ever been that high before in my life. We had no yeah. He was flying throughout like, space. We were yeah. flying he throughout space. He was seeing his former self. He's, he's, he's he flying. His he's flying, but self. low to the ground. <laughs> yeah. I had. I was. I was like tally. I was like, oh, I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> Jermaine is just there laughing at so us the whole was, time. He was your designator, designated walker. Yeah. To keep you guys in is. check. No. no. <laughs> Because first you you go to uh, the island and the, uh, the it's actually two different places. Uh, you go to the um, what's the name of the island where they used to check people L- in? Ellis. Yeah, so you go to Ellis Island. It's not the same <laughs> island as the Statue of Liberty. Uh-huh. When you get to Ellis Island, Kev, uh, Jermaine was like, uh, "You guys need to sit down. We're gonna go." <laughs> <laughs> There's this movie that you got you can watch. It's like 20 minutes long. 
He's like, you motherfuckers need to sit down. Because <laughs> he was teaching all that morning, and he met up with us, and then we went to this thing. <laughs> and then, so we had to take a boat to get there, <laughs> and it's two levels. We just kept going up and down the stairs, <laughs> and up the stairs, and then down the stairs. <laughs> It was hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure it was hilarious for Jermaine. <laughs> no, because he was trying to follow Idiots. us. <laughs> he was following us the whole time. That's what they think happened. They were just standing in front of us. Yeah, just we were probably walking standing in, place. in one place the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Stairs. <laughs> what if you go up? No, they just go down. Just looking at a picture of stairs. Just... <laughs> <laughs> How tall is this? <laughs> so we, once we got to Ellis Island, we watched the movie. I couldn't tell you one second of what happened in this fucking movie. I remember it was like all in black and white. Okay. It was black and white. And it was I like, that part. You, you go there and there's no movie. <laughs> and then we went to the Statue of Liberty. And, uh, we were trying to take a picture. <laughs> Of all three of us it's in front of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and uh, there's always a lot of tourists around there. And there was this group of Asian people. And they didn't Frank, understand. A... <laughs> no. The funny part. Don't pull that white shit, that white guy shit on me right now. No. It was these Asian tourists. They're Asian tourists. And they were taking pictures with their cameras. No. I didn't, obviously, I didn't obviously say Obviously, they that. had superior martial skills. <laughs> yeah. They didn't understand a fucking word of English. And we're, I'm trying to take the picture, and I was like, uh, "Let's ask these people." <laughs> they just happened to be in front of us, and I, and uh, I was like, uh, "Can you take a picture of us?" And they just talked in Asian talk. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell what they were. I was so fucking high, and I was like, "I just gave them my phone." <laughs> Here, take it. And they knew they knew what to do from there. <laughs> and then I took a picture of them. It did not work out well. Did somebody fight you? All their heads were cut off. And I was like, you know, I can't do this. I handed it back to them and just walked away. So did, did Jermaine have to carry you guys home? No, but by the time we got back on the boat to go back to the city, we started, you know, started yeah. coming back. Okay, that's what I, okay, okay, okay. There's this ayahuasca stuff that people keep talking about. And you are like fucked up for like two straight days. At least. Can you imagine being fucked up? That is an entire weekend. Two straight days. Yeah. Your whole weekend is just gone. You're just high and having uh, like visions and stuff, yeah, right? Visions and throwing up for no. two days. Hallucinating. And yeah. throwing up? Yes. Yeah, all of I'm that. good. Yeah, I mean, does that sound like a time that you like, yeah, I'm going to sign up for that. I want this shit. No. 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 Like, Frank, Frank's like, maybe I'll fucking do I'll it. I'll probably I mean, try it one day. See? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the idea of two days behind, like I said with the ex, I gotta have like a the next day, day I was just like, uh, I can't really function today. I'm like, I feel like hungover for a straight 24 hours after the ecstasy. And so... The idea of two days and then you have to recover right. after that. Like you, it's a lost weekend. I mean, it, are the visions that awesome that you? I don't know. Need to give up two days of your life I for it? Yet, so Maybe three. <laughs> need to try it. Well, it's oh, like people. No. People take LSD. K, That's kind of why, like, I prefer weed. One of the main things is the no hangovers yeah, and stuff. I don't either. And yeah. <laughs> I kind of have like a mental trigger now. I can tell exactly when I'm starting to get high. Uh huh. It's I hear a specific song in my head. <laughs> <laughs> he says that every time. <laughs> Lance has Supposedly. a soundtrack to his. Okay, what's the song, Lance? What do you it's hear? It's a Chris Brown song called "Love More." <laughs> okay, he's like, "Uh oh, fucking Love More is one. I'm done." Yeah. <laughs> he says that every I'm, time. I'm faded. I gotta stop. Once, once, once I hear, maybe all you need is consistent love. Uh oh, I, I know, I know it's kicking in. <laughs> Have you heard that tonight? Not yet. No. I told you it takes so like, early. No, it takes an hour or two. I'm you're feeling, feeling it. it. Yeah, I'm like hardcore feeling it. Like when we were outside, kinda. But now, woo. Courtney, I'm gonna ask you this one. Mm-hmm. All right. Have you ever, when you were drunk, since you and I both like to drink, and we know what, what mm-hmm. it is to be drunk. Mm-hmm. Do you start filling up other people, other women? 
Um... <laughs> uh oh, Lance is like. Oh, I'm trying to think. Her. Have I? No, she's been felt up before by another woman. Yeah, but I don't yeah. do it. No. Yeah, like I think chicks that start doing shit like that, that it's not because they're drunk. No, it's because <laughs> no, they it's, want attention. They want attention, or they it's they're something that's gay all the time. Oh, yeah, 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 they're gay all the time. Yeah. And so they use. Oh, I'm drunk. I don't, I, when I start, when I get drunk, my I might touch your tits, but <laughs> it's because I'm drunk. It's fine. Yeah. Like. Chicks like that, I'm like, dude, no. I've never been so drunk. I won't, Me either. I think there's a spectrum of of sexuality. I believe in that. And so I think there's always straight, all the way gay, the mm-hmm. stuff in the middle. I think, um, but when it comes to chicks' parts, no interest. Yeah, no. I have no Me interest. Neither. And so since I have no interest, I've never been so drunk. I'm like, no. like want to go for some headlights. And so, <laughs> but I've met women like that. I'm like, I don't think you're drunk. I think you're having some you're latent here. yeah, like feelings about women that you feel like it's okay to express mm-hmm. because you're okay to Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like, no. There's nothing I've never been so even when we're in the, on other drugs, no matter how high I get, I'm like, mm, girls, let me get some of that. Let me get a piece of it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I never wanted to grab a dick because I was <laughs> I was drunk. Yeah. You ever been penis drunk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's about to start grabbing penises now. <laughs> I've gotten to the straight. point. This is it. <laughs> okay. We were talking about this last night. So if you, Courtney, were, were so drunk that you then all of a sudden became, I'm into tits and stuff. If you made out with another woman, would it be cheating? Yes. If There's no her. sex. If They're I liked her, if I, not just if I kissed her. She happened if to be under just, the influence. Yeah. Like, like if she tripped and touched the titty? <laughs> yeah. Like hoops. Mm, it's only, interesting. Only if it would be cheating if I kissed her too. That's cheating yes. if you kissed the girl too? Then yeah. yeah what do you think? If, if the other person isn't into it too. Or if they don't know about it and if they're not okay with it. Your yeah, mate. You mean that, yeah. that person. Yeah. You know, I love those housewife shows. It was on a housewife yeah. show. So these two women were out at a club. And they were drinking. And then they started making out. Okay. And both of the husbands, they were both married women, were like, whatever. doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And I think there's a like a weird double standard. If it's two women together, it's not cheating. And it's totally okay. Even if they're married. Just but, because. Yeah, it's just okay. But if it's two men, it's never okay. It's never okay. So if she said, if Courtney said to you, Lance, I was drunk. It really meant nothing. I don't even know what I was doing. It was one of those blackout drunks. You've been experienced it. I wasn't slapping anybody, <laughs> anybody soul out or anything. I just happened to kiss another woman. Would you be like, ah, fucking how dare you? Or you'd be like, eh. Yeah, shit happens. Oh, girls. that face looks more like yeah, eh. yeah. Oh, girls, I know you girls are all lesbians deep in your hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah. really thinks that. And then uh, Lance, no, Lance comes to you and he's like, "Oh, I was drunk last uh, night, <laughs> stroking some dick." <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, that would be cheating, definitely. I think well, it's it's a, it's a principle thing because yeah. it's like if you. If you allow that with one gender, what's the barrier to another yeah. gender? If you allow, I'm, well, I was drunk, so I just did this with another girl. So mm. what's the what's the difference from it being a dude next time? It's just cheating. It doesn't matter what the gender is. Yeah. It's just no. cheating. I'm just saying <laughs> that it's like, however you slice it, that's unacceptable. That's one thing that's funny now that I think about it. Because it's like... For some men, it's like if a woman's messing with another woman, it's less of an offense. Yes. But the other way around, if a woman finds out her man is messing with another man, is worse. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Like that's relationship ending. That's a deal breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, it would be better if it was just a woman. <laughs> 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 they could recover if it yeah. was another woman. But it's another man. It's forget about it. It's a gender bias. But going the other way around. It's not really a bias because it's like you have to think in order for men and women to be attracted to each other, we are different. 
So you're attracted to what you're not. So it's kind of like it's hard to see another man as masculine with another man. Oh it yeah, kind of takes a hit I was just that was gonna a, be my a hit in that category. My, so uh, it's kind of like if you're attracted to masculinity, it's gonna the man is automatically yeah. gonna lose like fifty percent or whatever he had in your mind, if mm-hmm. not more. Sure. So I become, don't think of the guy as masculine anymore. To me, I mean, what he's if still, he's the top and not the bottom? Is he still no? Masculine? It's still <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So how are women still feminine to you if they're with other women? Because I guess another woman is not like a, is not bringing a masculine energy. So but she's what if not... it is a masculine woman? Because <laughs> there are those. Yeah, there's some really very ma- give off man, big dick yeah. energy. Yeah, like <laughs> what? Yeah, right. <laughs> Even though they're women. But at the end of the day, most men still aren't threatened by butch women. Yeah, what yeah. if Ellen was on your girl? <laughs> she's got lots of money <laughs> go ahead, girl, go ahead. But you're most... like uh wait a second maybe i do i do feel a little like feelings about right. ellen but if you're securing your most she... most men don't actually see lesbians as like a actual threat <laughs> okay to like they don't, they don't really, your girl those facts. men don't really know lesbians <laughs> lesbians love to recruit Frank, <laughs> they do. I don't think they're recruiting. I don't. I mean, yeah, they yeah. love to recruit. Sometimes it's easier to go to the other my, side. My <laughs> thing, my thing is, I've and I and I've heard a lot of people talk about that. How there's a lot of women who will say, "Oh, well, they're lesbian, but they're more. They like to flip flop." I think it's because people feel like they have to be in a box, and so you have to check the box of straight or gay. You have to check the check the box of, like, um, like family type or not or uh, bachelor or spinster. You have to check a box, but maybe you're not any of those boxes. Maybe you're like, you meet a person, and no matter what their gender is, you're just like into them or not. Or you meet and you. It's hard for you to say. Well, yeah, I have been with women. I'm with women more than I am not with women, but I feel. S- an ex- something with you and your man. Yeah, that's a relationship built on chemistry versus yeah, a chemistry. Gender. Yeah, and some people will just be in a relationship with a person. It doesn't matter. Yeah, which sex they they are. don't care. They really don't care. It's like they don't have a type. Like um, I asked Frank this before. I said, "What's your type?" And he says he doesn't have one, but he really does. Cause I know yeah, what, that's I know the what answer they give. Yeah, it's the answer Lance they give. the same thing. Yeah, but I know what it, I know what his type is. What's my exactly. type? Exactly. Do you know Lance's type? Do you think? No, I don't. I don't. Oh, I haven't you'll been find able to identify out. one. You'll figure it out. Well, what's my type? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Say it. What's my I type? I think you like um, fair skin black women are br- are browner than average Latino women. You sound like both of those. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Browner than average. <laughs> Not fair-skinned <laughs> Latino women. You like brown-skinned brown women. women. I would like a browner than average <laughs> yeah. Latina. Not your, what you're expecting, you know, like the regular. You want a brown women, woman. You like long hair. You like exotic features. You like asses and tits. That sounds like what every man likes. Yeah. <laughs> every man. <laughs> every man want that. I think that's his type. So if a white woman would not be on the top of his list, it's just not what he's into. And he even said that. So I, that's how I know it's true. No, I'm not, <laughs> so, I'm not really attracted to white ladies. Yeah, exactly. So I know your type. And I know the type of women, like, when I see them, like, oh, this is his thing. I've been surprised. And he doesn't like them to be pretty. That's what I found out, too. Surprised? Not pretty. Like, by who? Uh, That chick from Insecure. Because she is. And then I was like, oh, yeah, he really does not like pretty. Because that chick is nice not neck. pretty. Yeah, I disagree with that. I think she's very pretty. <laughs> I is. don't see it. She has a nice neck. That's what, he, uh, that's what he's saying. Like, I don't saying know about she's got that, a really nice but... neck. I'm like, what the fuck is like neck a, about? But <laughs> 1902 thing yeah. to hone in on. I like how games, uh, <laughs> yowza. But, yeah. 
the, so the he he likes very plain looking <laughs> women with exotic features. I never get answers. I'm just I, I like women. I'm I just like yeah, women. Yeah, that's what he says. It doesn't don't matter. Have a type. There's you don't a, have a look. there's a broad, I guess, demographic of women that I think are, are there attractive. any that are not on the list? Sure, but I, I can't tell you. It, it's like a one on one judgment type thing. Oh, okay. It's not like a it's a case by case. Yeah, basis. if I had to tell you what's not my type, I'd say ugly chicks. But like it's uh, <laughs> but they're ugly. To they're me. ugly to you, okay? But they might not be. They might be ugly to other people, but you still are into them. like a prime example. And it, it was it, it it sparked a couple heated debates. Like a woman, I think is uh, a woman I think is really hype, but I've always thought is un, very unattractive to me is Angelina Jolie. Okay. She's yeah. always been very yeah. unattractive. Yeah. She looks like a drug user. Yeah. Okay. She, even Skeleton. when she was young. Yeah. Not it was it has nothing to do with just how skinny is. She looks like she takes she's too much on hard something. stuff. Yeah. 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 So it's just like, dude, I'm just I'm not attracted to that crack hole look. <laughs> <laughs> you don't notice don't a pattern it. of women that you found attract attractive? Okay, like I, no I don't I don't like feature. crack holes categorically. <laughs> long, end. Well, long it's like hair, as long as short she's not hair. a crack hoe, I don't care. That's it. Yeah. Okay, Courtney, do you think you have a type? I did. Um, when I thought I knew what I was looking for. <laughs> and it was nothing like this. <laughs> it didn't. I'll so be honest, married, it didn't. You now I won't say out I won't of your say, type. No, 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 no. I, it wasn't completely out. Okay. Um, but. It's right gender. No, <laughs> that was the no, no. <laughs> no, just a man. <laughs> you know, I like height. Um, there you go. You had the height. Check. But that's anyway, it. that's all. That's the one point. No, <laughs> there was more to it, but I, I just like people. I just like people. Oh, well, I guess male. you guys are the people. same. Yeah, you just like boys. It, she just it, like. It sounds kind of like, like she just said it mockingly, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just no. like boys. Just I like kids. pale guys that glow in the dark because they're so pale. That's and thin. Well, you gotta cover yourself with radioactive dust, Frank. No, he <laughs> was like that because it's like, I'm like I, I mean, he like he glows in the dark. He's so pale underneath all of his clothes. He's so pale, and um, I like that. And I like really skinny. Um, I like tall, taller. As long as he's taller than me, I'm very happy. And so I do have a type. Um, but for women, tall is like a man saying, I like boobs. It's like, you think so? Duh. I think yeah. that, no, there's women that are okay with short guys. Yeah, but if they had the to, average, if they is had to the usually pick be between like yeah. taller and than short. them. Yeah. Huh? The ones who have no yeah. other choice. <laughs> <laughs> or if the guy they liked, they could make taller, they would. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, taller than me. I think if that's they, a. If, if there was like an app, it was like a foot on Johnny, they would <laughs> press <laughs> Can I just add a foot? Add a foot. Like, I have a foot on top. Height to women is like boobs to men. So it's yeah. like, you don't even need to add that one. There's men who aren't into boobs. Those men are wrong. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, so there might be do women, have a type. There might be men who prefer asses, but they're not going to say boobs gross. <laughs> <laughs> boobs gross. Ew, you know, if she didn't have those boobs, she'd be so, so yeah, great. I'm, just, I'm not really into boobs like that, so I, I've i never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not, you're not like upset if, okay, she has a big ass, but no boobs. If you're not a boobs guy, right? But I've never heard anybody upset about her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. As, the boobs are just a bonus if they're there. Complaint. So <laughs> never. You never like none of your friends are boob men, and they like if she doesn't have boobs, then it's like it's like just like the height. So if on she Johnny, doesn't but, have but, boobs, but it's like this. They've just never like the, just, just been like, like the, just like the height on Johnny. Just like if a man likes ass, no. but it's like, well, we could add bigger boobs to her too. He's not gonna be like, yo, yeah, man, you know, a boobs is just stupid. So. <laughs> But <laughs> there's never a time where it's like, yes. like nah, it's where it's like any of that. well they don't have those big boobs so no I don't want her because of that they might be fine with her not having big boobs <laughs> but 
There's if never a time when they, they had don't... the option to add. Okay. They say the no. option to add. Okay. <laughs> they check that box. Yeah. <laughs> the boot box. Like, well, do I have the option though? <laughs> you might it's like, not do be... I have the leather you... package <laughs> option <laughs> on this car? You might not be disqualified for not having boobs, but you've never I've never heard so of a woman might. be disqualified for having oh, boobs. No. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Just a bonus. Not once. <laughs> In ever. In ever. Oh <laughs>